Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Adobe Photoshop CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do a quick before and after type of image. So let's say you created this amazing effect, and there's a whole bunch of layers involved, and you want to show a before and after for whatever purpose on your Instagram, or to show off your editing skills, or just as an example. So it's pretty simple to do. I have all these layers, and this is the effect. I have them in a group, but they don't even have to be in a group but I still have my original layer. So if you have your original photo, that's what you need. So I'm gonna Command J, or you can right click and duplicate your original layer, and then drag it on top of everything. So now I have my original layer on top of everything, and then underneath is the affected stuff. So what I wanna do is create a split screen. So it's pretty simple. All you have to do is use layer masks. So let's grab our rectangular marquee tool and then make your decision on how you want to show the before and after. Do you want it to be split vertically? Do you want just a small third of it to be shown? Or horizontally? Whatever you want to do. So most cases when you're dealing with a face or a person, you can split them right down the middle for a nice effect. So I'll grab a nice selection here, cutting the person right in half so you can see a left and a right side. And then I'll go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide Selection. So now the before is on the left and the after is on the right and you get to see the difference. If you want to switch the before and after, just press command I and that'll invert your layer mask so you can switch them because on the layer mask, black hides stuff and white shows stuff. So inverting the black and white essentially just switches that. And then if you want to do one more finishing touch to add a detail of separation, if your adjustments were a bit more minor, is you could go on a new layer, so layer, new layer, and then grab your line tool, and then make sure the fill is set to white if you want, and this stroke is set to nothing, and then using a size of just about one or two, whatever works for you, I'm gonna create a line right down the middle. I'm holding shift so it stays right down the middle, and then I can go to another layer and see how it looks. So now I can see a clear split between the left side and the right side, and I use this all the time for thumbnails or examples of before and after for effects. So hopefully you guys can use it too. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out my channel for more Photoshop tutorials and subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.